Well, hello, my friends. This is Sean Petit for Deco Art Media, and I'm here to share this cute project with you today. Look at all these yummy products that we're going to be using in today's project. So I am working on an 8x8 MDF board, and it has been gessoed. Um, but I am putting down my vintage papers, and I've chosen some dictionary pages and some music sheets from an old hymnal, and um, the, they have great words on them. So I'm placing the papers where I can see them. And I'm placing all of my papers down uh, with a DecoArt map medium. And I am just randomly placing them where I think they might show up, knowing what I'm going to be doing with the heart and the wings. Um, so I'm careful to place them where I want them to show up. So now we're going to create the background and I'm grabbing some uh, deco art gesso and a large palette knife and I'm just skimming over the top of that and, and putting my palette knife very flat so I can get that skipping um, kind of a troweled kind of fresco look. And now while the paint, while the gesso is still wet, I'm going to put out some fluid acrylics in medium gray and raw umber. And I'm now switching to a square palette knife because I have a lot of control with a square palette knife. And I'm just randomly placing my gray and my raw umber in different spots. And I'm mixing the two together, letting the gesso mix in with it, letting it all just kind of mix together, giving it a real rough and grungy textural feel. I'm making sure to scratch back in the areas that I want to make sure those words show. So you can see I scratch it with my finger or with my palette knife. And all of this texture is going to show up when we put some more layers on. So that is the theme. It says love is the theme and that is the theme for this piece um, for February. And so I put that down last because I really want that to show up. And so I'm taking some Titan Buff Fluid Acrylic and a wet brush and doing just a wet brush over that with the Titan Buff. And then pulling it back with my rag, my damp rag, and um, just kind of revealing the under layers. But that top layer, that Titan Buff layer, is to really kind of push things back and really make things come together and feel cohesive. And I'm just using that with my rag now just putting some spots here and there that I want it to a little, be a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, and then again pulling back with my palette knife. So now we're going to put some raw umber down. It's really wet, really juicy to just get in all of those grooves, all of that texture that we've created with that gesso and the paper. That raw umber is just going to collect down into those grooves, especially because it's so wet. Now I'm just going to pull that back and all that raw umber just kind of lays in those areas. And now we'll do the dance and we're just going to come back and layer over certain areas around the edges and to just really give it a grungy fresco feel. So I have just taken a really heavy duty piece of cardboard, it's actually the back of a paper pad, and some cardstock with some gesso on it, and sketched out my heart and my wings, and then cut them out. And now I'm just laying over some modeling paste and gesso mixed together. I really like that mixture. Um, it makes that modeling paste bright white and really gives it that ground, that kind of chalky feel that gesso does. And I love that, especially when I'm trying to get a lot of texture. So I've just covered that wing with that mixture of modeling paste and gesso. And I've taken a pencil and just um, drawn in, basically scratched out that modeling paste, the design of the feathers. That's going to give us so much texture, detail, uh, it just, I just love it. I wipe off the end of my pencil to keep it clean to get a good um, line. Look at how cute! And I'm just going back now to kind of define some of those other lines that I did. 
and I loved that texture so much that I wanted to put it on the heart. So I'm using the same mixture of gesso and modeling paste and just with my square palette knife placing that over the heart to make sure that it's got a lot of texture. Now I'm going to add some crackle paint which is one of my favorite products of DecoArts. Just a little bit, not too much. Coming back to the wings now, we're going to grunge it up. We're going to make it look rusty, like it's been out in the weather, um, aged, oh, so good. So I'm using um, Burnt Sienna as the base. And I'm using a larger, wider, more flexible brush that holds a little bit more water. And um, that is so that I can get a real watered down effect. And I want that watered down effect to, to happen because it will seep down into those um, lines that we created in our modeling paste. Now I'm coming back in with quinacridone gold. And again, this is all just a layering process and built, we're gonna go back and forth to create this look of rusty, weathered, like those are metal wings that have been out in the weather for a long, long time. This is cobalt teal, and again, it's for that rust effect. And all of those colors are somewhat mixing because I'm not really drying in between. Um, and I'm just kind of placing them on there and then picking them back up. And then we'll come back in with some more darker colors. Now I'm coming in with a less watered down brush to really get some really good color. And again, do this dance of laying it down and pulling it up and finding the right mix of what looks good and what I think it would look like if it was weathered and rusty. So I'm going to dry this time and come back in with some raw umber and really go around the edges, drip it down the wings, really make it look like it's aged and weathered. And so now I've taken my raw umber and I mixed it right in with some leftover teal to give it this really kind of grayish, greenish um, color as it drips down. Back into my quinacridone gold. And just kind of layering back and forth until I get just the right look that I'm looking for. So I dried that and I came back again now to really darken up the edges with some raw umber. All right, now on to the heart. So I'm working with three colors of, the, of DecoArts Fluid Acrylics, Primary Magenta, Quinacridone Magenta, and Quinacridone Violet. And I start with the lightest color, which is primary magenta. And again, I'm doing basically the same process of layering. I'm working with a very wet brush. And again, what that does is that gets in all of those crevices, all the cracks that the crackle paint has created and just really seeps in there and shows off all that texture. And I'm layering back and forth between the three reds until I get a nice consistency. I want it to be really dark and I want it to really stand out. So I dried it again and then went back in and added more color in the same process. Adding that quinacridone violet around the edges just really makes it pop. So now we're gonna crunch it up some more. So I'm using some raw umber and glazing medium this time because it's softer, it's smoother, I have a little bit more control, it's a little bit more even, and that's what I was looking for in this final coat for the wings and the heart. Coming back in with just a little bit more raw umber just on certain spots to really get it dark, really get it grungy.
So we're going to lay it all down and I'm laying everything down with um, Deco Arts gloss gel because it's heavy gloss gel and it's heavy and thick enough to hold those thick papers with all that texture. And although I don't want this to be glossy, um, it's going to do the job. And then what I will do is I will come back over it once I get everything down and in place. And that, that heavy gloss gel really holds everything nicely. Once I do that, then I'm going to come back over it now with some matte medium and bring that gloss back down. So I'm going to put down my words that I just printed out on the computer. Love is the answer. Put those down with my matte medium. And now I want some shading. And because these were so thick and chunky, I couldn't get my charcoal pencil around it too well. So I just watered down some carbon black and used my brush to really get in the edges. And it worked better um, than my charcoal pencil because it got around the edges and you didn't see any bare edges or anything like that and was really able to add some great um, contrast and shading. Now I'll come back with my um, pencil and add some additional shading. I'll shade around the edges with my um, chalk pastel and we're going to call this piece finished. Look at how cute this is. One last thing that I will do is I'm going to add a pop of white on the heart and on the wings with some gesso. And that's just to bring the eye right to where the focal point is to add some contrast in the piece. And it just immediately brightens it up. Even though we we're working on getting it grungy, it just really does the job. So I hope you enjoyed this, this project. and. Um, all the supplies and everything will be listed on the DecoArt Media blog and I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to doing another project with you soon.